Tennis players move and change direction on average about 4.2 times per point. There's usually about between 300 and 600 maximum bursts of energy in a tennis match. You've got a mirror on your speed drills or any kind of movement drills that the tennis player change direction every 1 to 1.1 seconds at a, at a very maximum intensity in order to re recreate what happens at elite level. These guys hit the ball serving up to 140 miles an hour. It's an assumption you have to be in great shape before you can be a good tennis player. so much at stake now, if you see the, the guys on TV, it's pretty obvious that tennis has is, uh, is, is gone to another level of how dynamic it is. And there's so much uh, pressure and uh, money involved in the sport that every athlete is, uh, is exceptional in what they do now. It's just the case that the standards are so high in what these guys do and what they're able to do on court and off court. Everybody is, just has to be in great shape. On the guys' side, in the grand slams, you can play anything up to uh, five sets, which can be four and a half hour matches. So the number one point is you have to be able to last. You've got to have the mentality and the physiology to be able to last a long match. The average point in tennis is about 10 seconds long and the break you get is 20 seconds. And that is, that is all you get. Time. It's not just about training hard, it's about training smart. The, the top guys on tour are very aware now of how to maximize their effectiveness on, on the training side. And if they don't train specifically, mirroring uh, the ac actions that happen on the court, off the court, you, you simply don't, you don't train as effectively as if you, if you just do general training. So the main thing in the video is to show specific functional aspects of physical conditioning that a top 10 player now needs to do. Okay guys, start off with an extended warm up, working on the uh, mechanics of change in direction. All I want you to do to start with is in a zigzag pattern around the barriers here. Just take a real nice easy swing, about 75% effort, starting with good body shape. Just go around the barrier, swing, move to the next barrier, swing, move to the next barrier. Don't worry about anything, just do it as you would do it, as naturally, as easily and relaxed as you can. 75% effort. These guys don't have a lot of time, so as a trainer you've got to make sure that your time with them is as effective as possible. So the warm-ups, if you can, don't make them too, too general. If you can actually do something effective in warm-up that, uh, that's going to go on to, into the training, then you should do so. Tennis is all about changing direction. You've got to change direction every 1, 1 1.1 seconds. Okay? So your body is going to be very good at changing direction, left, right, forward and back, and transferring your weight in order to push off in any direction. So we're going to break the process down. The first one is very simple. All you're going to do is go to the barrier here, Stabilize on your outside leg, pick your knee up, that's all. When you feel balanced, go to the next barrier. There, pick your knee up, go to the next barrier. Don't move anywhere until you feel that you're, you are balanced in this position and you're not wobbling anywhere. That's it. Just bring the knee up in front of you and go. Just bring the knee up and when you feel balanced, go. That's it. Same exaggerated here. Place the outside foot down, stabilize on it. Bring the knee up, that's the first stage. Second stage is shoulders stay facing forward, hips stay facing forward. All you're going to do is open your inside hip out. So it's not that, you're not going to turn into it, okay? You're not doing anything, just shoulders square, hips square, open the leg, and then over the hurdle. Shoulders facing the net. Imagine you've got two glasses of water on each shoulder, so when you go, your shoulders stay level. Knee up, knee out, and go. That's it. Same two first stages, one, two. Third stage, exaggerate it. Keep your shoulders square and level, sink down. Keep your shoulders facing me, head very still. Try and keep your eyes on the same line. Eyes on the same line all across the movement. That's it. You need to be very, very smooth and efficient at transferring your weight. So come into the barrier here. First stage, second stage, third stage. Fourth is this step over the hurdle. I want you to transfer your weight from your outside leg very smoothly onto your inside leg. Okay? This creates a very wide base for you to drive off. And my central gravity is over my lead leg. Okay? So now just take a big step, 
to get your base. There, there, sink, create the base over the barrier and then move to the next point, okay? Transfer your weight over to your inside leg. Feel yourself slightly leaning over when you come in, lean into it, that's it. Keep your head still still, but just lean and glide over that way, that's it. From here we go straight on to working on the first step. You're now going to use this transfer foot, push down pretty hard and drive the first step powerfully in. So you're trying to go for the biggest first step you can. So here, you're aiming to get a good long first step. So we'll come in here, knee up, knee out, sink, transfer, and then we're looking at that explosive first step. Try and keep your upper body relaxed. First step and then relax, that's it. First step and then relax, that's it. Knee up, first step and relax. Try and arrive at the barrier on your outside leg. See if you can cover this distance in two steps. One, two, relax, that's it. One, two, relax. One, two, relax, good. If you're really working explosively here, that's what happens in tennis. The first step is going to be powerful and big. The second step is likely to be powerful and big. Then you may have to adjust before your setup step, okay? So from here, you've got one, two, three. One, two, powerful steps. You might have to adjust a little bit before you get to the next stage. So try and put in some exaggerated adjustment steps so you can come into here and then get in this nice body position again. That's it, I'm gonna hear you, I can hear you adjust if you had. And one, two, adjust yourself. And one, two, adjust yourself, good. Keep the exaggeration, keep feeling the different sections. All I want you to do now is put all those sections together, but as you take the step over the barrier and you put the inside foot on the floor, I want you to take your racket back and hold it back there, okay? So you get to the barrier, one, two, three. As you take that step and you transfer your weight from your outside to your inside leg, I want you to take your racket back. If you see my body position here, again, my center of gravity is over my driving foot. To go anywhere in sport, you have to be, your center of gravity has to be where you're going to drive from. Racket stays back, your body's at a slight lean, you're leaning with your shoulders. Now from there, you take one, two powerful steps, adjust, come up, and then you change to the other side. And really work on this transfer into body position here. If you can get that right, you're going to be able to move and change direction at a high speed. And adjust. And go. And adjust. That's it. Keep yourself nice and low. Try and keep your eyes looking forward towards my chest as you move. Look towards me. Look towards me. That's it. What I want you to think about now, swing at a nice easy pace, do all the stuff you've done, go from here and think about, boom, the switching of the feet in order to move to the next barrier. Feet pointing to the outside of the court. When you hit, boom, your feet will switch. Up your body, twitch your feet, good. And switch your feet, good. Still using the feel, the internal feel of the movement, I want you to forget the whole process you've gone through. Forget the whole lot. Okay, don't want you to think about it, no exaggeration, just try and feel it. So when you get into here now, all you're going to do is the barriers, and just go from here, boom, and move. Boom, and move, and move. Make it as natural as you can now. Big first step, good twitching of the feet. Push. Good adjustment, Dave. So big first step, push. Push. And drive your feet, go. Nice. And push. Good lad. Okay. Players nowadays know the importance of first step three. They rely on it. If they can get themselves off the spot with, with maximum balance and maximum power, they're more likely to move into the shot with the, with the correct balance. Start in this body position here. And if you're going to the right, your left foot moves first. So you take a big step here, real quick adjustment steps, big step, adjustment steps, big step, adjustment steps. If you can't move to your left as quickly as you move to your right or forward as quickly as you move to the other angles, there's going to be some areas of the court you're going to be exploited on. The top player will be really exaggerating it and focusing on their first step speed on every point. Obviously, drop shots, approaching the net, serve volley. You need to be able to do first step forward too. Split, sink, drive, hustle your feet back, relax, split, sink, drive your feet back, hustle back, split, sink. In tennis, you've got to go in any direction at any time off any foot. So if you get the split wrong and slightly off balance, it's going to take you too long to try and get that ball. So you need that split to be very accurate and very relaxed. 
but when you see it in, in its full form is when a player is put under immense pressure. The mechanics have changed direction on the warm-up. Just done two first step speed drills, first step lateral, first step forward. Now I'm trying to make that into a proper tennis move. Try to almost visualise you're playing a point against somebody. Because you want to move as realistic as possible when you're doing these kind of speed drills. And push back. In a very, very good serve volley, you'll see them hit the serve and their first step will be so powerful and big into the split step, into the volley. They're almost, they're almost taking one step before they get into the service port. Yeah, Miss Williams. On to the short one, boom. Hustle yourself back, split. One, two, get behind the ball, come back in, split onto the short ball. Okay. Onto the short, onto the short. Hustle back, hustle back, hustle back, hustle back. Split and go. It's about being quick. It's also about being efficient. So you've got to move relaxed in a balanced fashion with good body shape. Play that really loopy shot there. Use your legs, use your legs. Okay. It's, it's all about the ability to, to split step, sink your body weight down and accelerate off in, in multi-directional angles. You've got to be able to go at any time off any foot in any direction. But that's splitting, so I need, yeah, I need to split. Split, go, that's it, on the short one. Good, and push back. Play the volley, come back, split, and then you get up for the smash. Come back in, split, I might shadow that side for the volley. Push back, see where it's gonna be, it's gonna be a smash. Get up, come back in, split, shadow the volley, okay? On the volley, see it? And up for the smash, get up, get up. Come back in. Close the net on the volley, good. And up for the smash. We're going for first step explosive return of serve. So good split, take that real good explosive, try and get in that wide serve position. This is all about low center of gravity, first step, multi-direction. So if you're going to break this, this uh, cord here with your partner, you better be able to move off the spot very sharply in any direction with balance. That's it. Keep with him, keep with him, that's the way. Keep with him. Come on, you can do it. Break this rope, get away from him, good. That's it, fake him out, guy, fake him out. Send him one way. Tennis is a very circular sport. It's very rotational in its nature. So if you can't use the body well enough, starting from your, from your feet up to your hand at the end of the shot, if you can't rotate that well, you're not gonna be able to hit a tennis ball well over a four and a half hour period. Players are, are fundamentally concerned with using their body as a coordination chain. They use it in a very circular, very cyclical way, driving from the legs up through the pelvis into the shoulders in order to, to create rotational power to hit forehands and backhands. From here, and just take a hop out that way and try and control your body position back into neutral. An Agassi or Ferrer trying to put away these short forehands, you'll see huge rotational power going forward and up into the ball. Feel the position here, and from there, just throw in. All it is. Now we're trying to make it much more of a tennis type of movement, okay? Keep looking forward, look forward, and push. That's it. One step, hold the position, and throw. Control, then relaxation, and then let the power go. Step right out, step out, control, and push. Good. Hold, and then push, go. That's it. You're going to slowly come up through the throw. The pelvis is going to push forward. This foot will stay flat, and you'll end up in a totally rotated position out as the ball goes. But now you're going to do this with pretty much maximum power. So from here, it should be very slow here. Control the movement to there, and then... And now twist it up, down to I like that position, better. What you've just done for rotation, you've got to put two together. So I'm looking for big first step, Good controlled rotation, good recovery, big first step, and always with good body position. Head still, shoulders level, in this, in this goalkeeper kind of position where you know you can go either direction very easily. That's it, move each other around, that's it, move each other around. That's a good one, come on, push, push. Come on, push out there, push, find the position. And move quickly off the spot, and then rotate well. Push, come on, go, 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 go. So really work on the wide balls, okay? Good work, come on, you can make that, make that. Has to be a drop shot, has to be a drop shot. 
these guys are very, very talented at using their body, using the muscles in the right way, in the right timing, in order to create power in a, in a circular fashion, starting from, from their calves up into the, into the legs, into the pelvis, and lastly with the rotation of the shoulders. Rotation into first step speed. So this is the basis of all power movements on a tennis court. Get in this position here, starting in good body position. You'll start in that rotation position here. So your knee is over your toe. It's not that way and it's not inwards. The knee is over your toe, the glute is contracted, this lat is contracted as you turn. So you're stacking weight on this glute and the same lat this side. As you throw, throw hard into the wall, slightly across yourself, three quick side steps, catch the ball, do the same the other way. Right. Tennis is very explosive. It is a neuromuscular sport, which means it is based on reactions. The medicine ball is a very, very good, effective piece of kit for making you explosive. Sit, drive the outside leg in. Sit and transfer weight. Transfer the weight. You want to be quick fire and explosive in order to rotate and hit a ball. So if you thought about your serve return or running for a wide shot or really reacting to a wide ball, it's this rotation here, and as you throw, boom, it's step and rotate. First step, that's a better one, that's the one I'm looking for. Go! You've got to get very good at combining rotation into first.